The Ramones, Blocky, Tuckin' Heads, Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, L-I-E-G-W-B, F-T-R and the B-Q-E, Bus Stops, Taxi Drivers, Walk, Ups and High Rises, Dicker Street and Mulberry, and Staten Island Ferry, Rikers Island, Wall Street, Moma Lady Liberty, Park Slope. Uh, welcome to the Vinny Vella Show. How Today we have a today we have a great show, and uh, I always like to introduce my girls. And uh, do they excite me? Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, we have Luba, we have Carissa, we have uh, Andrea, and we have Lucy. Yeah. And uh, uh, we keep switching around every once in a while, don't we? We like to keep it fresh. Say what? We like to keep it fresh, but we're happy that Carissa's back with us as well now. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, Carissa was on a little vacation. Yes, I was. I did some you traveling. Know? I'm happy to be back. Yeah, well, there you go. Thank and you. I know that you were away for one or two shows. But you know what? Are we talking about you and what we saw last week? Oh, <laughs> Can yeah. we talk about it? Ooh. If you oh. want, if you like. <laughs> okay. Well, Luba and I got to see you in your show last week. You're opening night. Mm-hmm. How'd it go, it Vinny? Amazing. Did you like it? Yeah. it was incredible. Yeah. He was really... I think both Luba and I said that we've heard a lot of your jokes and your, your stories. They're not jokes, they're stories. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but they're stories that make you laugh. Yeah. But there were so many new things that we hadn't heard, and you, it had a packed house. Everyone loved it. Um, everyone was. It was oh, a great. really incredible oh, night. Great. So if you haven't yeah. seen it, you have to get tickets because you've got a few more shows coming up, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I have one at the. Um, let's see. When's my next show? Well, I'm doing one this coming Friday mm-hmm. in Long Island at a place called Governors, and um, yeah, that's right. Yes. yes. And that's going to air on, um, uh, what? No, it's not airing, right? It's at the... I have no idea. You know, I'm all burnt out. I'm on all kinds of medicine. I know. You know? <laughs> so he's going to be in Long Island at the Governor's right. on uh, the 7th. I well, it, it airs on the... Uh, but how does it air? Does it air? No, it's stand-up, and then he's going to be back at the duplex on the 13th. That's right, yeah. And I'm going to be there for that, because unfortunately I missed it, which I was so sad about. Yeah, well, that's okay. I got so many shows all lined up now between my TV shows, uh, my appearances, my one-man show, the movie that I'm doing in Boston. (laughs) You know, when you have... I'm I'm not complaining. I'm not blowing any smoke. I just got a lot on my plate. Sure. And... Um, we know that you we need, know. You, you need we us know. to keep you in shape and keep you in check, right? Yeah, you're right, baby. There yeah. you go. Well, you got us. We're here for you. Yeah. What a good girl she is. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just have a lot on my plate, and I'm just trying to... Well, we're very uh, proud of you. We're, we're so very proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, yeah. Thank so very, very proud of you. Yeah. Quite an accomplishment. Thank you. Now, tonight we have not only a, a good friend of mine, uh, he's also a singer, and I did a movie with him, but we'll, have, we'll talk about the movie later. And uh, he has such a, a great voice, and he sounds like a like a Robert Goulet. Ooh, you know, I like it. And um, I tell you, the guy's fabulous. He, yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's wonderful. Yes, he is. Let me give him a nice hand, Larry Costa. Yeah. Okay, Larry. yeah. Until the real 
everything comes along with all the words dear at my command I just can't make you understand I'll always love you darling come what may my heart is yours what more could I say I'd lie for you I'd cry for you I'd tear the stars down from the sky for you that isn't love I command I just can't make you understand I'll always love you darling come what may my heart is yours what more can I say I'd lie for you for you I'd lay my body down and die for you If that isn't love it will have to do until the real thing comes along Thank you, thank you very much Another lovely song for you. <laughs> this song goes to Diana Montford. She loves this song. What are you doing the rest of your life? North and south and east and west of your life. I have only one request of your life that you spend it all with me for the seasons and the times of your days all the nickels and the dimes of your Days begin and end with me. I want to see your face in every kind of light, in fields of gold and forest of the night, and when you stand before the candles on a Tomorrow's waiting deep in your eyes, in a world of love you, keep in your eyes, I'll awaken what's asleep in your eyes, it may take a kiss. My 
my life is oh the love of my life Sit down, sit down, my boy. You don't bite, maybe. Thank you very much. Wasn't that fun? Yes. I think you're mesmerizing. I just totally enjoy you. Thank you. I really do. It's it's really nice to hear. Yes. It's really nice to hear. These two songs are actually from a new album Mm -hmm. called Larry uh, Sings at Loy, which is a Loy restaurant Mm -hmm. uh, where I sing uh, monthly. And we also filmed a movie there that uh, we are in together. Uh, yes, nice. Larry. Larry Ravioli. Yeah, Larry yes, Ravioli. not to be confused with Larry Costa, who's the real person. <laughs> but Larry Ravioli is the character that I play in Larry Ravioli. So what came first? Was it the singing or the acting? I think it was the chicken or the egg. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, everything happens just, you know, whenever it is. And, you know, it's, it's there. It just, it's there. It, it comes out whenever it needs to. Well, you know, and that's with anything. Your talent is there. I mean, he sparkles on that stage. From what I understand, you also brought some clips, too, eh? Yeah, we have a trailer. Would you like to see that? Oh, I would love to. Uh, yeah, that would be so much fun. Good. Yeah, so, yeah. The, 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 there we go. Hey, guess my name. It's Larry Ravioli. Excuse me. <laughs> What was your name again? Larry Ravioli. Yes. Yes, join Larry Costa as you've never seen him before. Kicking over the traces and bringing to life his namesake character, Larry Ravioli. Larry Costa is Larry Ravioli, who temptifies and glorifies the glamorous playmates of this dizzy, spinning world. As Larry Costa and Jane Haggerty breeze through the glitter and shimmer of New York as it's never been captured before. I'm Larry Ravioli! You have a special invitation to attend Larry Costa's open house on the wildest night New York has ever known. Nobody listens to this music anymore. Girlfriend? No. But I wouldn't mind discussing you. Larry and Gina searching for love in the Big Apple, but sharing only part of their lives until they find the deep, warm moment of truth that can't be hidden. Not even by the oddball antics of the brittle surface of your Guess my name, it's Larry Ravioli. I'm the last person mm-hmm. Absolutely. These, everyone here is in Larry Ravioli. Yeah. And we have Diana Montford, who plays Diana Screws. Which I do to a fairly well. Yeah. Yes, she, she's in the movie, she's uh, the mouthpiece to the mafia. Which could mean anything. Yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> and then I got we, sore knees from the shoot, that's, but that's uh, <laughs> so Diana Screws. And this is Jane Haggerty, who is the leading lady, Very who nice. plays oh, Gina. Awesome. Do you want to tell us quickly about Gina and what type of person she is? Well, I think Gina is very complicated. She's more than meets the eye. Um, She's, She's an a assassin. lot of fun. I couldn't resist playing her. I mean, who wouldn't resist wearing a cat suit? I mean, it's just so long to do. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's amazing. She's so she much loves fun. It. And she just sees Larry as the screwball that she's got to take on, but then she ends up just falling for him. I think she's a weakness for a goofy guy. Yeah, she falls in love with him. 
Uh, Once I hear him sing, you know. That's right. And then next to her, we have Casey Bartolucci. Hello. Who plays Hi. Abrams in Larry Ravioli. And Abrams is a sleazy agent who gets Very Larry Ravioli sleazy. to do unthinkable things. Oh, my goodness. I'm very uh, conniving, <laughs> humbling yeah. at the same time. And then we have Yana. And Hello. your last name Hello. is Mille Mille Milberg, right? Mil now, know. Yana plays my Yana girlfriend, Milberg. right? Yeah, well, it, she doesn't play your girlfriend. You're just in love with her. In the <laughs> I'm in love with her. In the movie. <laughs> yeah. You're, she's really, she's like your assistant, yeah. but she takes control of everything. She runs the show. She runs the show. She's, she's your dominatrix. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, that's maybe. right. It reminds me of Luba. <laughs> Oh, it is, yeah. Well, welcome yeah, to the show. Yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. What was it like working with Vinny? As it well? was really, really fun to work with Vinny because you know it, it was such a relaxed atmosphere. We we were able to share a bottle of Gramenier, I think. It was. <laughs> well, you know what? Because I, most of the time on a set, they don't give you a real booze. Right. You know, they give you like a apple juice that's supposed to look like a yeah. like scotch. Or right. Yeah. But I can't drink any of that shit. <laughs> so we ha we gave him the real stuff. Come on, method acting. And I have that you know they're stoned. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, and I have I don't drink. But I said oh I might as well join him. It's fun. I'm stressed. You know, working right. whatever. So I was doing shots with him no, as we were doing the scene. Shots? The two of us were so <laughs> drunk. We were like, you know, walking down the street, kicking our heels. <laughs> it was great. I'm looking forward to that. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah, but yeah, Vinny's excited. excellent, excellent yeah, in this movie. Excited. Everybody is. It's really, it's, there's nothing like this on TV now. Right. Larry Ravioli, you know, because it is a television pilot, but it's also a movie as well. And, you know, there's just nothing out there that's what entertaining. Is it? Well, what is it like when you say there's nothing out there? It's what a, is it about that? It's a light airy comedy that is like that which we probably saw reruns of growing up like I Dream of Jeannie, Get Smart, Witch, uh, Get Smart, like, yeah. Get Smart, Mel Brooksy, it's, it's very good. I think yeah, it's really, really cool. There's a lot, fun, there's slapstick goofy, in there, so yeah. very cheeky. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's, it's just nice, clean, wholesome fun, even though there is murder. <laughs> but it's in a fun way, like someone has a cannoli <laughs> or a cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's basically. It's like Austin Powers meets a something right. where you're so entertained and it's so unique. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and and of course it's it's also a musical because I, I sing, right. so I'm singing in this movie, which is really fun because it, that makes it like Glee meets The Sopranos, mm -hmm. right? Kind of. Right. Yeah. And it's also for adults, like us adults yes. can enjoy this, right? Yeah. And kids, it's yes. cartoony, yeah. yes. but it's sexy without the sex. So what inspired you to? Because you created it, right? Yes, yeah, so oh, I created I Larry Ravioli. He's actually. <laughs> loosely based on my life, because in my past I was also an undercover secret agent. Did you know this? Yeah. Oh, I could so see I do yeah. my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my show. Right. <laughs> so when I had this lifestyle and this, this job, I would go to nightclubs or wherever, and I would sing songs that had hidden messages in them that needed to get out to the field agents for whatever purposes of whatever case we were working on. So that's kind of what wow. the movie is based on, except it's not an undercover agent guy. It's a guy who wants to sing, right. but he gets involved with the mafia, and then through conniving people, he has to sing this song with hidden messages. But I'm not going to tell you anymore because it's all movie. That's it. <laughs> but it's really fun. It really is. Very good. Well, I did. You know, I did my homework. I, I already knew all of that. <laughs> well, you were there. You were in. I'm sorry. You were in the movie. Well, I'm talking about you being in another country. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, one time I was in a nightclub. This ain't no lie. And I was, well, not one time, but just one time that I was in a club. And I was sitting down with this girl, I was drinking, and I had my hands on her lap. All of a sudden, like, not too far up, but I felt metal. Was that me? No, I got what? Oh, and that wasn't metal you were feeling. And I said, I said, what do you have down there? She goes, a gun. I said, a gun. Because yeah, I'm a police officer. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Be in on you. Because if you stop, I will. Oh, oh if you stop, I will. Ah, see. But you know, I never carried a gun. I didn't. I don't believe in guns. You know, and, but of course I was issued it because it's what it is. But you know, I didn't feel comfortable with guns or weapons of sorts. But I did always have a piano wire. 
in my what? pocket. Piano wire. Piano wire. Wow. A piano wire. Piano yes. wire and a lot of charm. Yeah. Oh. How do you do with a piano wire? Metal between your legs. What? <laughs> what would you do with a piano wire? Strangle people. Like in the band? Like oh, yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. strangle people. <laughs> Wait, what was the name of one of the actors in Sopranos? He was a guest. What's the name when he got strangled in the, in the club? That was uh, Tony Ray Rossi. That's, what it, that's essentially like it was. It was something really thin. Oh. So yeah, that's it. Like a um, the human mm -hmm. trachea is very delicate. Very delicate. <laughs> the human trachea no, is very delicate. Today. No matter how big the, the bully. <laughs> You can still crush their neck. Sure. So what's the sort of plan with Larry Ravioli? Now, I mean, we saw the trailer. It's there. It looks amazing. For viewers who actually want to see this, or like, where can they watch it? Exactly. The well, there, there's going to be a few different venues. There are several uh, distributors okay. that are interested already. Um, but I want this on TV. So okay. I'm going to start marketing it to the networks and stuff, because this needs to be a show. It has to be. It, yeah. It looks so much fun. Yeah, it's fun. They want it. <laughs> they want it. So yeah. See what there it is. There it is. But I have to tell you how we found Jane. Yes. Uh, for the part, because actually that part was written for Lucy. Oh, come oh on. Lucy, I'm yes. so sorry. Yes, it was written for Lucy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to, at that going. I going no, it was really? really fun. It was really good. <laughs> But you missed out. No. <laughs> but she had other obligations during the shoot dates. Yeah. And then we, we did this other search, and uh, lo and behold, here she is. And he found me because I responded to a Vinnie Vela invite on That's Facebook. That's right. Oh. I looked at the picture. I said, Wait, there's my Gina. Wait, read that by me again. You he found me on your fan page or something. He on found you on, on my page. On your fan page. Oh. Yeah. See how this is like one See how family. All is coming yeah, Vinny together. Wants his commission now. That's how it's right. So always Find say yes. Things. Always say yes to coming to the Vinnie Bella show, and you never well, know what happens. You want to know? Right. And anyway, wait, you want to know something? I'm not. Luba is a, a wonderful person. I love her. She's the only one. You know, she calls me up about ten times a day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love Vinnie. I, I can't she believe text that. Text messages me. <laughs> I know. I'm just, uh, you know, that's all I do. She makes this look bad. And she puts down, I love you, you see you later. Uh, yeah, he, you know, I have to tell you lot. this, only because sure. of this text messaging thing, but in the movie, uh, there's an obsessed fan who keeps sending me text messages at the most inappropriate time. Oh. Yeah, and <laughs> it's probably, it's you, it's you, it's you. But yeah, but it's really <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes Amazing. through all these zany, crazy things just to get close to Larry Ravioli. Oh, like she yeah. climbs the rafters and shimmies up the walls. Oh, and you'll be oh, seeing her climbing up the Denise, uh, played by Denise Anderson. There you go. In the movie. Who's the niece of Rochester and Hazel Scott, two great. African American entertainers of the 1930s and 40s. Wow. That's right. We right. have an incredible wow. cast, and I think that you just said, and I'd like to acknowledge you, Vinny, on this, that you were mentioning how you kind of found each other. Right. I think this shows a really good thing because you bring people together yeah. and end up yeah, working absolutely. together. Well, it's a really good if cast. you ever notice anything about my shows, I brought a lot of celebrities up here, yeah. and then in between, I bring my friends on. I give everybody a plug, mm -hmm. and I, I try to yeah. help everyone out. You did. And uh, around, I know there's other, there's other cable shows in New York that bring everybody on. I mean, the, the guy in the corner sells hot dogs. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I'm bringing people on, so I'm trying to give them all a plug. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it. Believe and you I bring me, on everybody I know. I bring That's why I come from. <laughs> Very good. I was on TV when you were squeezing your zits, so it means nothing. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> yes. hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> so how long did the film take to film? Only film take to film. It took four days to actually shoot <laughs> okay. the film. Um, it was in production uh, just a several months. Is it a short? Months. It's 46 it's minutes long. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, it's 46 okay, so it's not minutes. A short. It's not what do you short. call it? What do we call you it? You call it a... A nice length movie. Right. You call <laughs> it yeah, something Larry like 46 Ravioli. minutes. I know. 40 so. Short attention span you, theater. Have you had a screening for it yet? And if not, not yet. can we all come to it? Yes, you're all oh, invited. When is it? Going, well, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Why not add more songs and then it's an hour long? Exactly, exactly. Well, we did shoot a concert scene 
for this movie, which would have made it a regular hour long. However, the footage the, was damaged, so oh, there, we lost an entire concert. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. Wow. So, what's your next plan now that you've got that? To out kill there? the person that damaged the film. Oh, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> that's my next plan. The person that damaged. Did you use that uh, piano wire? I should. <laughs> I should. Venom, I should use the like, piano <laughs> wire and a baseball bat. Protect him with a pear tree. You know, uh, you know what? She said, I just gave her an idea to protect herself. Yes. You know, there's another way that these girls out on the street that are being uh, raped and bothered. You know what you should do? Mm. I'm going to give you all a great idea. What? You I'm get a water thing. pistol. <laughs> Get a water pistol and you put Clorox in it. Ooh. Oh. And then all of a sudden somebody tries to rob you and they say, Man, what you gonna do with that thing, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. You gotta hold like this. Yeah, I mean, and it'll ruin their clothes too. But just make sure that that, just make sure that thing doesn't leak. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So at least you're gonna have yeah. hope. Well, I will. No, I, don't know. I gotta, I gotta make sure I say that right. If it leaks in the wrong place, you could have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, why, why? I didn't say it all wrong. <laughs> Everything will turn white on you, I'll tell you that much. But I think I'd also like to say in general, it doesn't matter if you live in New York City or anywhere else, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, be smart about where you're going, what time of day. A lot of times in New York City, it's five, you know, 5.15 to look at the sunrise all by yourself, a young woman, and then wonders why something happens. Just please be smart about what your choice is. Always walking, you see people, if it's at night yeah. and you're walking down a dark street, mm -hmm. walk in the middle of the street. Don't walk, don't stand on the sidewalk. Yeah. Somebody will come out of the building, copy and bring you right in the hallway. Oh, right anyway, right. we don't have much more yeah. time. Mm -hmm. We only got just Be a few few more Very moments. Nasty. I want to say, Larry, thank you so much thank for being on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys did a wonderful job. And, uh, Invite me to the screening. Yeah. Keep doing and, uh, it. You're in it. You're in it. I'll bring them all. I'll bring them all. Yeah. And um, okay, thank you, for coming. you did a fabulous job. Yes. It was great working with you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for having You're me. You're an yeah, inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, That's a good yeah. show. How did you get paid for that movie right now? Hmm? How did you get paid for that movie right no, 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 no. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Vinny, 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 none of that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>